Hi guys, and welcome back to D-Diets. I've been gone for a little while. I had a little bit of a cold and I still have it in me. But you guys know I was suffering with sciatica, then the roof problem. I have the incense burning, you see it? But you can still hear it and I still have it. But today I'm gonna to make something that I think is gonna be delicious and I, if you've never tried it, I think you're gonna absolutely love it. You can make it in the oven, you can make it on top of the stove, or you can make it in a crock pot. And it's only 535 calories and it's a main dish and it's delicious so sit back and get a look at my steak pizzaiola first we're going to start out with a beautiful chuck roast now chuck roasts need to be braised a really long time otherwise they're going to be super super hard to chew and eat but i can guarantee you by the time this is all finished and cooked it'll fall apart with a fork so now what we're going to do is that we're going to brown this piece of meat on top of the stove. So, so in the pan, I'm going to squirt just a half a tablespoon of oil. And I'm gonna let it heat on, you know, a fairly medium high heat. I'm just showing you, it's like, there's the high. It's the high button, you see it? So it's on a medium high. And we're going to brown the meat. So I'm gonna take this gigantic piece of meat in and put it in the pan. And we're gonna let it brown on both sides. This is the time to season with salt if you like. Well, you, you hear it sizzling. I put some black pepper on and some salt. And now we're gonna flip it over. My goodness, there it is. And we're gonna brown this side as well. Woo! It won't cook all the way through right now. Just browning both sides. Okay, as you can see, I have Six onions. I've peeled them already. Now, if you have Thrive Life Slice onions, um, this is one I would say not to use. Just use a fresh onion because you want the caramelization. You could probably caramelize, but I do it in very thick chunks. So you can see that it's going to be very thick chunks of onion. And now that our meat is browned on both sides, that's when we throw our onions in. I told you this was very simple, very, very simple to do. But the flavor is absolutely terrific. And I'm just slicing these onions up. I want you to see my fruit on the counter. Again, for all my friends that are dieting, I have my pineapples, my grapes, and of course, my Fuji apples. Um, I'm waiting now for my strawberries to come in. The grapes are out of this world. They are fantastic. They are nuggets of heaven. Really, they are. They're fabulous, sweet, delicious. Very low in calorie, of course. And now that I'm finished chopping the onions, I have a nice little, I don't know if you have one of these. See how thick and chunky these onions are? You need to do that. You have to have them nice and thick and chunky. So now let's add them to our pot. Okay, now that you see the meat is browned, if you notice, very little oil. We use very little oil. We're going to throw the onions around because we're going to want those to caramelize as well. Get a little brown on them. They don't have to cook through and through, just a little brown. They will cook for quite some time. The reason why they're cut so thick is that onions, if they cook for a really long time, will basically dissolve. But these won't. They'll be there, and they're delicious. At this point... If you're someone that loves mushrooms, throw them in now. I ran out of my mushrooms, but you can use canned, Thrive Life, Fresh, whatever you want to use. You could throw some mushrooms in here as well. But simple, simple. Now, let's just let it, let those onions caramelize a little bit. Okay, you can see that the onions are starting to get brown. I do have this on a low heat. Um, I did make, I did cover it, just so that you know. I covered it for a little bit, just so, you know, a little bit of the condensation would occur. But it's doing its thing. And as soon as I see that they're softer, a little softer than that, I will add, and I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to add two cans of Del Monte, and I want you to see, now you could get any brand you want, that the basil, garlic, and uh, oregano but I'm gonna add two cans of that to this as well. Now that the onions are translucent, we added one can. We're going to add our second can of diced tomatoes. Just want you to see how simple this is. I'm going to cover it and on a low heat on the stove, I'll put 
put this on a very low heat. That will sit for the next four hours. Now you'll let it sit for four hours on top of a, so a stove top. If you want to put this in the oven, do the same thing. Put it in a pan, put it in the oven, cover it with tin foil, and let it cook. Crock pot, same thing. If you're somebody that's going out to work, brown your meat, throw your onions in, and your tomatoes. And what other vegetable you might like. You might be somebody that likes string beans. I'm going to have string beans on the side with this tonight with some fresh garlic. Hmm, it'll be delicious. And I'm going to, um, also if you want a big salad, you can have a salad with that on the side. Just so that you know, a serving size with brown rice is 535 calories. That'll be four ounces of the meat and the onions and the tomatoes and the, um, and the rice. But I'm going to have some with rice and I may have some with vegetables. Again, it all depends on what you want. You could also add mushrooms to this at this point. You could have stuck mushrooms in there. You could have stuck small string beans inside there too and let it all cook up together. It is the simplest but most delicious dish. You could also stick extra garlic in here. If you're someone that loves garlic, put garlic inside. But we'll be back after four hours and we're gonna check it and I'm gonna show you how it falls apart so beautifully. That meat is so tender, it'll be so succulent and so delicious. And that was a big piece of meat, so guess what? You're gonna have leftovers as well. And it's a great family dish, it's a great company dish, and you really didn't have to bust yourself to try to make it. So, this is what we're gonna have tonight for our supper. And now I have to go out and I have to get an adjustment, something done on my car. It's always something, it's always something. So I'm gonna take care of it, there goes, here comes all the dogs, and I know what's gonna happen. So, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Well, I'm back, I'm back from getting my car brought over to the Chrysler place. They have to put some computer chip in it. Don't even ask how much money that is. That's insane, but it has to get done because I love my car. It's a PT Cruiser and it's a convertible and I've had her for years and I just love this car. So she's getting fixed. And it's costing a lot of money, it really is. But I'm gonna show you the serving size. I'm gonna show you what I'm having. Um, I'm gonna have mine with the brown rice I didn't make the string beans, but my goodness, make them, have it, it's delicious. But I just didn't feel like making them because it's one of those days now, it really is. So, I wanna show you what it looks like after it's all cooked. Yes. There it is in all its glory. Doesn't it look fabulous? Now, there's a lot of sauce with this, so if you wanna make some pasta, some angel hair pasta, some noodles, my goodness, go right ahead and have that instead of the rice and pour that over it. Just add the calories for the pasta. Now I'm gonna get some for myself. First, I'm gonna get a measuring cup because you know guys, I'm only gonna use a half a cup of brown rice. That's all I'm using is a half a cup. That's my serving, but it's a decent, it is a decent serving size, seriously. And now I'm gonna cut some of the meat and you've heard me say this before, and I'm actually cutting it with a fork, just so that you know. Hello, look at this, look at this. Doesn't this look scrumdilicious? I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I think I need a bigger spoon. Because, because. I'm gonna grab some of the onions and the tomatoes. About a half a cup of those. You can go a little nutty if you wanna put a little bit more on. But this, look at this. This is steak pizza all. Look, and it was easy, because I didn't have to do a gosh darn thing. All I had to do was brown the meat, cut up the onions, the big chunk of onions. As you can tell, you'll see the big pieces of onions in here still. That's why I said to you, chunk those onions up so you have them. And of course, we're going to taste it. And I want you to see how tender the meat is. Let me see if I can just come across over here so you can see it. I mean, I'm not even using I'm not even using a knife. I'm just gonna cut it right in half with my fork. That's how tender and scrumptious this all is. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to have some. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. That is so good, guys. I hope you try it. 535 calories. If you omit the rice and you don't do rice and you had vegetables with it, the rice for a half a cup of brown rice, 
was around 100 calories. So take the rice out, throw some veg in for maybe half that amount, load your plate up with vegetables, put all this stuff on top. Mmm. I hope you try it. I truly do. It's that easy. It's that simple. Oven, stovetop, or, uh, or crock pot. Do it anywhere you want. So, have a great time. Until I see you again, be kind to one another. The heart, that's all that matters. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up to my video. Um, if you're interested in any Thrive Life products, you know my website is right below. But this, you have to try. And it's an inexpensive meal. It's not, you could serve it to anybody, seriously. Anyone. And they wouldn't know the difference. Have a great day. Mmm, that is good.